Hello everybody, this is Nanith LMC here. Welcome back to another episode of Building with Nanith LMC on the Attack the B team in the Attack of B team mod pack. Um here in my cave, right next to my uh um Tinker's Construct Smell 3. I shuffle things around a little bit, I cleaned up the cave, made this kind of access walkway behind it. Uh, I moved these things around. Uh put all my parts in here, all my supplies kinda, and then I put all my casts and then miscellaneous thinkers construct items in here. And I've I've gotten quite a bit of stuff now. I've collected some blood and you get blood by just you know show you you just hop in the here. <laughs> Yep, yeah, there it goes. See, it hurts you a little bit, takes the hearts away, just by standing in this molten liquid. <laughs> so when you stand in there for a while, you get uh, blood, and then that's used to make pig iron, which I haven't made yet, because I don't really think I'm going to use it, but I just have it in just in case. Got some aluminum, some bronze, some a lot of iron, some alumite, a lot of gold, some manulin, some cobalt, some obsidian, and some resonant ender, which I'm not sure how, got it, how it got in there, but I got it in there somehow. <laughs> Um, and as you can see by my hotbar and my inventory, I've made some tools. Um, I think I've made five tools. Yeah, these five. Well, I made six here. I have another one up there, but these these five are my good ones. Uh, I got my my weapon slash axe, battle axe. Uh, if you right click, it charges up. If I let go, um, I jump forward and I get hunger, speed, strength, and jump boost. So I'm really fast and I hit. With strength one, so it's really nice because I can one hit both things. But uh, little drawback is you get hunger, which isn't that bad since I have a pretty good supply of meat. Um, these two hammers I made. This one is um, just a regular mining hammer. Hammers, if you hit in a block, it mines a 3x3 three three area around it. 3x3x1, three by three by that is. And then this one below it is basically the same thing but it auto smelts it. So if I'm mining stone, it'll turn, or if I'm mining stone, it'll keep it stone. It's like a silk touch kind of, but when I'm mining ore, it's really nice because it, it smelts the ore for me. I don't have to go worry about using all the coal and stuff. And then if I don't want to mine out a 3x3 three three area, I just made this pickaxe. Um, really important thing is you put moss balls on these for all auto repair. Um, and I think Tinker Construct is bugged out right now because I am i wasn't able to add like Haste 2 or Haste 3 or Luck 1 or Luck 2 or Luck 2 or Luck 3 or anything like that. It would only go to 1 on all of these. And so I think it's kind of bugged out. Plus I think the durability, they're made of Cobalt and Manulin. The durability should be more than 100, but they're not. So I'm not sure what's up with that. If you guys give me any tips, that'd be helpful. Um, and then one more thing is Esca Excavator. It works just like a hammer, but with dirt sand and gravel and things like that. Plus I put silk touch on it so I can get the, the grass blocks to so these grass blocks. Um, if you look over there, you can see that I have started working with, well, okay, I'll show you this first. This is a little more easy setup. I started working with the uh, thermal expansion mod a, quite a bit actually. And um, uh, the mo the first thing you ever want to build if you're working with uh, thermal expansion is these steam dynamos here. Uh, pretty simple. Um, here I'll show you. Well, actually, you might want to make a crescent hammer, which I think is just uh, in a crafting bench. It's like a. Let's just see. <laughs> yeah, three iron and a tin like that. You get the crescent hammer. No durability on it. It's going a nice, pretty nice thing. Uh, let's see if I got anything. Oh, I'm good. Okay, so you right click on stuff with it and uh, steam dynamo that's not a steam dynamo <laughs> there we go two copper gears a redstone transmission coil which is just redstone and silver uh, copper gear is just copper around iron and then copper and then redstone you get these things and then what you do with these is you put them well I, what I do is I put them on top of fluid ducts and then you hook a fluid duct up to a uh, aqueous accumulator which you put in a, a water source, sucks up water infinitely, sends it to these things so they get cooled, and then you throw some coal or charcoal in here, and it creates this steam on the left here, which powers things like a harvester, which I have here, harvesting my essence berries and automatically putting them in here, which is, this is a lot, a lot of experience right here, just by itself. 
So if we ever need experience, which I don't think we will because we have battle axes and hammers and pick and excavators, something like that, uh, we might use it for uh, what I was setting up over there. See that green stuff right there is mob essence. And that's what I think we could turn our experience into. But right now, the only way I can get mob essence is with this uh, EXP extractor here. And what you do is you, yeah, I'll show you, you get a bunch of levels, or you get, okay, you get one level, okay? You hold right click, and I'll show you this. And, oh, we gotta, hold on. Gotta morph quick. I'm still holding it though. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, I used it. Okay, so I use it. Use a berry. Level level one. Oh, it doesn't show it. What? What's going on? What is happening? I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Uh, it should it should it like takes the exp out of you like a shot and then it fills up oh it did it that's why it's not working I have a full bucket here okay so if I just uh, if I just pour this out I don't know I'll just pour it right there oh and this stuff gives you night vision by the way <laughs> yeah, okay so if I have level hold this out hold right click here's what it looks like doesn't look like anything oh it did it again <laughs> dang it okay so I'll put that down here we go start in F5. Here we go. There we go. See how it fills up? And then it fills this bucket up with mob essence. And then what you do with mob essence, and this is a really long complicated process, I'm not going to lie. It took me a long time to do all this. Is you build a, a glass structure or any kind of structure with a, I put a roof on it. And then you set up um, this thing down here called an auto spawner. And the only thing you need, what you need for auto spawner is you need a uh, safari net, a reusable safari net, which is uh, four ender pearls around a gas tier. And then what you do is you go up to any mob. I chose an enderman. Right click on the mob, captures it like a pokeball. You put you put the captured mob in the auto spawner, and um, you fill it. You put this tank up here. Uh, put some mob essence in it, like that. And uh, right now. I just had I ran out of space in my tank, so I just plopped it on top of the roof there. I don't have the best entrance quite yet. Let's see, is that full? Yeah, I can't do any more now. Um, but then you put the tank on top, and then what you do with the to power it is you need you need to hook up some power from a uh, a steam dynamo. <laughs> Or you um, make a, uh, what is it called, a cell, let's see, thermal expansion, yeah, energy cell. And right now I have two resonant energy cells, which are really complicated to make. It takes four endurium, endurium ingots, which are, which come from, uh, Pyrethium dust, which is just this, which you get those two from pulverizing things. Um, this is a long process, trust me. And you get Enderium blend from mixing a bucket of resonant ender, one pulverized shiny metal, three pulverized tin. You get this from pulverizing ferrous ore. Um, and you get this from magma crucibling ender eyes. And so you might as you might think, well. I haven't seen any of these machines. Uh, that's what I've been doing for the last couple of days. I've been really going hard building all these machines. Just look at this. These three. Okay, so I got my uh, magma crucible here. This is where you put the ender eyes. It comes out. You put a tank up here. It fills up the tank. And then you put the tank over here in the fluid transposer. And that's... So you get... Okay, so I have the ender ingots, right? You put that in the induction smelter, which I have... Right here, Pythium dust, uh, Enderium dust, and then you get you, and you get these things, the Enderium ingots. And then to make this redstone energy cell, you make this, Electrum and hardened glass, which is uh, pulverized lead and obsidian. And you get those by putting lead and obsidian in the pulverizer. And that gives you the dust. And then 
you get electrum by mixing gold and silver dust, and then you smelt that, and then you, to make the redstone energy cell from the redstone energy cell frame, you put electrum, a redstone conductance coil, and then two lead, and that is just electrum and two redstone. And then to make the final resonant energy cell, you put these in. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, one more step I skipped. To make the redstone energy cell, you put the empty frame in a fluid transposer filled with destabilized redstone, which is just redstone from a magma crucible. You just put the tank up there, so that's what I have right there. So here's the tank. Just got a little bit of destabilized redstone in it. And this is just my kind of supply chest. Uh, and then what I have here going on here is uh, steam dynamos, and I have a, I have a water infinite water source underneath here with a aqueous accumulator and with uh, fluid ducts going to all all let's see those four and those all seven steam dynamos filling them all up with water. See how they're all filled with water. And then uh, these two things I haven't showed you yet. These are the resident energy cells. And they're not right now being powered because I haven't made the charcoal yet because I, I really don't have enough coal. I've just been chopping down lots and lots of trees and making that charcoal. I have quite a bit of coal in this backpack here. I just went to back to my old place and chopped down one of those big oak trees. You got a lot of wood. And so what you do is you, what I did here is I put a chest on top and then I put some item ducts. And what you have to do with item ducts, you have to make these, uh, where is it? These right here, pneumatic servos, and you put them in here, and you down one down there. And see, I have the blue. You right click it with the wrench to change. Oop, I don't want that. You right click it with the wrench to change the direction and things like that. So that means that's coming out now. So I put the charcoal up here. Okay, wrench could be in like that. You put the charcoal up here. Comes out here. You have to power it with the redstone. It goes down there into the steam dynamo. So I can't just so I don't just fill up one. I could put a few stacks in here, and it'll eventually trickle in. And these things can hold lots and lots of power. And so what you do with this is you pick that up. Did I get it? Yep. Pick that up. And then you go back down to your spawner thing. Don't mind the yeah. don't mind the um, the trickling uh, mob essence here. I'll just scoop one one more bucket of that up. And then what I set up here is a grinder. And all you have to do with that is put a power source, which is this thing, and then hello. And then a chest next to it which picks up the drops. And what it does is it kills all the mobs in there. So I power this, put that there. That should be working. Yep, it's got it's got power, I think. If not, you just go in here and you you change or this one, you change the configuration to output or something like that. You just mess around with it. And then you put another one underneath the auto spawner. I think I do need to change it. I think they need to be orange. No, nope. there we go, orange. And then that should start going, there it goes. So spawning Enderman, and the grinder is killing them. Yeah, I need to turn this to orange. I'm not sure which one it's on, so I'm just turning all of them to orange. It's charging up again, and there again, this is filling up with mob essence. Not as much as it's taking to spawn them, which is why I have to have these essence berries. And spawn might use, use that to get experience, but then what you do is you can fill that up and then you can right click on the grinder with a bucket and it fills it up with mob essence you put it in there I do eventually want to get a, uh, an automatic system going but right now that's the best I got just have a hole on top and got buckets and then I run out I'll just fill that up plop that in there oh it's full come on grinder there you go fill that up Jump down here, fill it up, fill it up. And this is giving me lots, oop, lots and lots of end of pearls in it. So yeah, that's that. I showed you I showed you everything. I showed you all my machines, all my um machines in there. I haven't done anything with this bottom row yet. I'm thinking about maybe putting this in there because I don't really like this out here. Uh, I do want to keep this kind of glass feel. Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to make it look pretty though. That's what we're going to do next episode. We're going to pretty up the inside of the cave and probably going to move that into there.
All right, it's been the NFL MC, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.